Can I ask, why did it take so long from the first time we knew that this was happening to the – got the, the report done? I met the President said – uh, just the other day, I think it was yesterday, that he just got a look at the report, and that's the first time he knew anything about it. Well, first, other than reading it in the papers, I guess. How, are you asking how? Uh, yeah. So, how, have you ever seen that magnitude before? Anything? No. Of this magnitude? I, no, no. It's never come up before. No, it has not. Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Miller. Now, you've been on the job for quite some years, but the current job you're in from, is from November 9, 2012. So, is that right? So, you you just took over as acting commissioner. Uh, in November of 12, yes, I, okay. I have both jobs. All right. But before that, one of your jobs, you were the Commissioner of Tax Exempt and Government Entitled in, in, uh, in, Entities Division. So you actually were in the job that we're questioning now, that group, of what, what, went happen, what was happening there. So I would you have been in Cincinnati? Job. No. You were never in Cincinnati? No. So is Cincinnati some outpost? Uh, so, so obviously the, the, the IRS is a nationwide organization. Oh, I know. I understand that. I understand CID. that. And I, and I want to tell you, listen, b believe me, if you think it's uncomfortable sitting over there, you ought to be a private individual when the IRS is across some you questions. Right. So I got to tell you, it's uncomfortable for everybody. But my question more specifically is, so how did Cincinnati get to where they are? How did they, how did they develop that strategy? And how did they know to go after these certain groups? How did they target those folks? That just... A couple rookies just showed up, didn't really know what they were doing. So uh, again, I would I would I would point to the the the, the uh, Tigda report on on what happened. No, I, I understand that. I understand that. But I'm hearing these are a couple. It's always these are low level people that push the wrong button. Now, when Cincinnati can't figure it out, who do they confer with? Who's their counsel do, uh, they're, when they're looking at these entities, tax exempt they, entities? They're, come back they're, here to D.C. Um, the there's two it's possibilities. Yes or no? Does it come back to D.C.? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So D.C. and Cincinnati be pretty well connected in understanding what's going on. So this doesn't come as a great shock to anybody. In fact, I would say it doesn't come as a shock. You know what it does for the American people? It really establishes what they feared so often. I have a grandson who's afraid to get out of bed at night because he thinks there's somebody out of the bed that's going to grab him. And I think most Americans feel that way about the IRS. I mean, you get a letter from you folks or a phone call, it's with terror that you look at it. And now this kind of reconfirms that, you know what? They can do almost anything they want to anybody they want, any time they want. This is very chilling for the American people. Now, I know that uh, where you're at, you're, and you're going to, you're resigning, you're walking away from it. But this is not going to go away. This is a Pandora's box that has been opened, and I don't think get the lid back on it. And I don't believe that the White House just found out about this in the news report. The president happened to grab a, a TV shot or just read Mr. George's report and said, you know what, Why, we, anybody here ever about this before? Um, I'm just getting a first look at this. Shouldn't somebody be responsible? And I'm thinking maybe the executive office, maybe Treasury falls in there. I'm not sure that, that we understand how that, that organizational chart works. But I, I am really concerned. Now, i got to tell you, uh, where you're sitting, you should be outraged. Uh, but you're not. The American people should be outraged, and they are. And this committee... This has nothing to do with political parties. This has to do with highly targeted groups. This reconfirms everything that the American public believes. This is a huge blow to the faith and trust the American people have in their government. Is there any limit to the scope of where you folks can go? Is there anything at all? Is there any way that we could ask you, is there any question that you shouldn't have asked? My goodness, how much money do you have in your wallet? Who do you get emails from? Whose sign do you put up in your front yard? This is a tax question. And you don't think that's intimidating? It's sure as hell intimidating. And I don't know that I got any answers from you today. And I don't know that uh, what Mr. George has done is great work. But you know what? There's a heck of a lot more that has to come out in this. And anybody to sit here today and listen to what you have to say, I am more concerned today than I was before, and the fact that you all can do just about anything you want to anybody, you know, you can put anybody out of business that you want anytime you want. And i got to tell you, you talked about you're a horribly run uh, organization. If you're on the other side of the fence, you're not given that excuse. And when the IRS comes into you, you're not allowed to be shoddy. You're not allowed to be run horribly. You're not allowed to make mistakes. You're not allowed to do one damn thing that doesn't come in compliance. If you do, you're held responsible right then. I just think the American people have seen what's going on right now in their government. This is absolutely an overreach, and this is an outrage for all America. I yield back. All right.
Mr. Griffin is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> right. The committee will come to order.